But then from there, things started to change a bit because there was kind of the rise of ransomware. And then, of course, the first few ransomware cases that I was uh, able to handle to lead, basically me with my team on it, where we really had the situation of you know, Fortune 100 company just went offline, completely ransomed, breached, everything destroyed, data stolen. And we didn't have much experience in ransomware response at that point, just a little bit, which just came out. And then we had to run and, you know, investigate. And the biggest stressor is always, um, first of all, you get a million questions and you have to answer those every hour. And secondly, they want to recover as fast as possible, as quickly as possible, because they're losing a lot of money, right? But we can't recover before we know what, what happened and how it happened. And and so the biggest kind of, you know, uh, those still, those cases, the first like two or three ransomware cases where we literally had an entire or Fortune 100 organization, depending on me and my team, just waiting for, hey, what's next? What's next? How, how long are we, can we recover? How fast can we recover? That was very, very impactful and so stressful, but um, kind of exciting. You know, you can't just do it probably for many, many years, stay over day, but um, a good kind of, you know, less learning experience. And that led me to understanding, you know, what it takes kind of to respond to those. But uh, back then it was very um, impactful. And this led me to build this training too. It was like, hey, this is what it looks like, what they did. I want to show you. And so that's kind of the outcome of that too.